Hey folks, I was at school picking up some supplies the other day and I saw a book that we read sometimes together for fun and so I thought I would read it today. This is Mouse Tales. Mouse Tales. Papa, we are all in bed now, said the mouse boys. Please tell us a tale. I will do better than that said Papa. I will tell you seven tales, one for each of you, if you promise to go right to sleep when I'm done. Oh yes, we will, said the boys. And Papa began. The Wishing Well. A mouse once found a wishing well. Now all my wishes will come true, she cried. She threw a penny into the wish wishing well and made a wish. Ouch, said the well. The next day, the mouse came back to the well. She threw a penny into the wishing well and made a wish. Ouch, said the wishing well. The next day, the mouse came back again. She threw a penny into the well. I wish this well would not say ouch, she said. Ouch, said the wishing well. That hurts. What shall I do? cried the mouse. My wishes will never, ever come true. The mouse ran home. She took the pillow from her bed. This may help, said the mouse. And she ran back to the well. The mouse threw the pillow into the well. Then she threw a penny into the well and made a wish. Ah, that feels much better, said the well. Good, said the mouse. Now I can start wishing. After that day, the mouse made many wishes by the well, and every one of them came true. And then it switches to a new story. Clouds. A little mouse went for a walk with his mother. They went to the top of a hill and looked at the sky. said mother. We can see pictures in the clouds. The little mouse and his mother saw many pictures in the clouds. They saw a castle, a rabbit, and a mouse. I'm going to pick flowers, said mother. I will stay here and watch the clouds, said the little mouse. The little mouse saw a big cloud in the sky. It grew bigger and bigger. The cloud became a cat. The cat came nearer and nearer to the little mouse. Help! shouted the little mouse, and he ran to his mother. There's a big cat in the sky, cried the little mouse. I am afraid. Mother looked up at the sky. Don't be afraid. She said, see, the cat has turned back into a cloud. The little mouse saw that this was true and he felt better. He helped his mother pick flowers, but he didn't look up at the sky for the rest of the afternoon. The end and a new beginning. A very tall mouse and a very short mouse. Once there was a very tall mouse and a very short mouse who were good friends. When they met, Very Tall Mouse would say, Hello, Very Short Mouse. And Very Short Mouse would say, Hello, Very Tall Mouse. The two friends would often take walks together. As they walked along, Very Tall Mouse would say, Hello, birds. And Very Short Mouse would say, Hello, bugs. When they passed by a garden, Very Tall Mouse would say, Hello, flowers. And Very Short Mouse would say, Hello, roots. When they passed by a house, Very Tall Mouse would say, Hello, roof. And Very Short Mouse would say, Hello, cellar. One day, the two mice were caught in a storm. 
Very Tall Mouse said, Hello, raindrops. And Very Short Mouse said, Hello, puddles. They ran indoors to get dry. Hello, ceiling, said Very Tall Mouse. Hello, floor, said Very Short Mouse. Soon the storm was over. The two friends ran to the window. Very Tall Mouse held Very Short Mouse up to see. Hello, rainbow, they both said. The Mouse and the Winds A mouse went out on his boat, but there was no wind. The boat didn't move. Wind, shouted the mouse. Come down and blow my boat across the lake. Here I am, said the west wind. The wind blew and blew. The mouse and the boat went up in the air and landed on the roof of a house. Wind! shouted the mouse. Come down and blow my boat off of this house. Here I am, said the east wind. The east wind blew and blew. The mouse and the boat and the house went up in the air and landed on top of a tree. Wind! shouted the mouse. Come down and blow my boat off of this house and off of this tree. Here I am, said the south wind. The south wind blew and blew. The mouse and the boat and the house and the tree went up in the air and landed on top of a mountain. Wind! shouted the mouse. Come down and blow my boat off of this house and off of this tree and off of this mountain! Here I am, said the north wind. The north wind blew and blew. The mouse and the boat and the house and the tree and the mountain went up in the air and came down in the lake. The mountain sank and became an island. The tree landed on the island and burst into bloom. The house landed next to the tree. A lady looked out the window of the house and said, what a nice place to live. And the mouse just sailed <gasps> away. The Journey There was a mouse who wanted to visit his mother, so he bought a car and started to drive to his mother's house. He drove and drove and drove until the car fell apart. But at the side of the road, there was a person selling roller skates. So the mouse bought two roller skates and put them on. He rolled and rolled and rolled until the wheels fell off. But at the side of the road, there was a person who was selling boots. So the mouse bought two boots and put them on. He tramped and tramped and tramped until there were big holes in his boots. But at the side of the road, there was a person who was selling sneakers. So the mouse bought two sneakers. He put them on and ran and ran and ran until the sneakers were all worn out. So he took the sneakers off and walked and walked and walked until his feet hurt so much that he couldn't go on. But at the side of the road, there was a person who was selling feet. So the mouse took off his old feet and put on new ones. He ran the rest of the way to his mother's house. When he got there, his mother was glad to see him. She hugged him and kissed him. And she said, hello, my son, you're looking fine. And what nice new feet you have. Wow, that's crazy. And here I have what I think is normally our favorite or maybe our second favorite, the old mouse. There was an old mouse who went for a walk every day. The old mouse did not like children. 
When he saw them on the street, he would shout, Go away, horrid things! One day, the old mouse was taking his walk. All at once, his suspenders broke, and his pants fell down. Some ladies came by. Help! Help! cried the old mouse. But the ladies screamed, Your pants have fallen down! And they ran away. The old mouse ran home and cried, Help me! But his wife only said, You look silly in your underwear. And gave him a hit on the head. The old mouse began to cry. Some children passed by. Poor old mouse, they said. We will help you. Here is some chewing gum that will hold up your pants very well. Look, cried the old mouse. My pants are up. This chewing gum is great. These pants will never fall down again. Those pants never did fall down again. And after that, the old mouse was always kind to children when he went for his walk. The bath. There once was a mouse who was dirty. So he took a bath. The water filled up the bathtub. But the mouse was still dirty. So he let the water run over the floor. The water filled up the bathroom. But the mouse was still dirty. So he let the water run out the window. The water filled up the street. But the mouse was still dirty. So he let the water run into the house next door. The people in the house next door cried, Turn off the water! We have had our bath today! But the mouse was still dirty. So he let the water run all over the whole town. The people of the town cried, Turn off the water! We're very clean now, the mouse said. Yes, you're right. I am clean now. So he turned off the water. But by then, the town was all wet. But the mouse didn't care. He rubbed himself with a big towel until he was very dry. And then he went right to sleep. Is anybody awake? asked Papa. There was no answer. Seven small mice were snoring. Good night, my boys, said Papa, and sleep well. I'll see you all in the morning. The end.